Okay, doing compression tests on my buddy's John. It's a Honda Accord. All right, what year is it? 98. 98. And he was having a low compression. So we were just doing a simple compression test. Uh, number four was at 90. Number two was at 120. I'm saying this wrong. This is off my car. Number four was at 60. Number three was 120. Number two just tested at 60, but I noticed that the voltage dropped during cranking more than last time. And having the voltage the same for each is critical to be sure you have the same oomph behind the cranking over. Uh, the very first time I ever did a compression test, I uh, had a slow drop of compression across all the cylinders of my engine. And I got thinking, of course, the battery's weaker. Uh, so this last time, we've been waiting until 12.6 on the charger, but it dropped all the way down to 12.2 after he was done cranking. So we're going to stay at 12.6 for a while and retest. You have to be sure your conditions are the same. I mean, are you really going to trust a battery that's been sitting around? So John looked up the spec, and it's supposed to be seven cranks, or you'll see the, bounce, the needle bounce up seven times. After this, we could do uh, an oil test and see if it's piston rings are worn. We were worried that it was out of time, but when we wind up all the marks, everything looked perfect. Correctly, we have disabled the fuel pump. I've actually burned out this fuse before by not disabling it the first time I did a compression test. And we also have the gas pedal, otherwise known to me as a throttle pedal, uh, all the way down so that there's the least restriction possible to bring air into the engine. We're at 12.7, so we, we might have fouled it up in the other direction, but let's give the cylinder another chance. Go for it, John. Yeah, we only got, uh, oh, this is hard to read, 70 out of that. So we're, we're, this definitely has nothing to do with timing. But we'll still test one last one. We dropped a 12.4 on the voltage on this one. So we had enough juice left and didn't have too much voltage drop. So that was a valid test. I mean, all we got was up to 70 from a little more juice on the voltage. And you just, when you put these in, you just hand tighten them. There's no way to screw it in. And they did that on purpose because that's not necessary. Just release the pressure between. And it'll make it easy to put in and out. To rule out, all, or uh, to, to talk about it well, John commented that when he was idling, it would often stall. Um, that's another sign of bad compression. Did you have anything to add to that? Okay. So that was his symptom. What created or started this opening up of the engine, though, was unrelated. It was a uh, cam, some kind of, sort of cam position sensor. We we don't remember the code. Please forgive us. But the end all of it is, regardless of what the code was, the distributor had sort of a lockup in it, and it actually stopped the engine from turning. That's what created the fear that damage happened, and it turns out damage already was. Yay. Ready. And Okay. So with with <laughs> those low numbers and a minimum is supposed to be oh I forget. Let me look again. Best to do compression on a warm engine. That's not possible. We have a disassembled engine here. Uh, it's supposed to be warm, 178. Cold, a minimum of 138. Please don't quote me. I, I, it, apparently it's late at night. Because <laughs> I, keep, I keep forgetting it, even though I just looked at it. But still, 1690. This is done. We're going to add a little oil, see if it's piston rings, because that's the only easy job to do. If it's that, great. If not, goodbye. That's what it is. Okay, so it's wet test time, so we're going to put, uh, we'll just pick another one that was low. What was another one really low? This one, right? Because we did the number four first, and then we did number three, and that was really low. Yeah. Okay, so a really low one, if it doesn't bring it up to where it needs to be, 
with oil added, then there's really not a point. So we're going to test on that one. Darker there. Uh, at 12.6, we're going to risk it that we're not at the bottom of 12.6. Hit it, John. Okay, I only counted six instead of seven, but still, that's 130 in compression, so that's piston rings. Um, if I, We could look underneath and see, but if it's really easy to get full access to the bottom of the engine, it's, it's very easy to do a piston ring job and throw it back together to have it running again. I mean, typically when you've lost compression, you should do a full engine rebuild. But the value is just not there on a 99 Accord to do that. So, oh, relief pressure first. So that's piston ring confirmed one. Okay. I'll report back if it brings up compression on all of them or not. I'm going to stop recording. Record more. But at 110, that's way below the last one. So it's very questionable as to whether the rings would be worth it. And our voltage drop was to 12.4, so that was good enough. Unfortunately, this, this engine's not worth doing piston rings on. Full on this, so let's redo it. Ready, John? Uh, yeah. It was directly related to how much oil I put in, because it was 150 this time. Yeah, piston rings all the way still, so we're back in the money for that. Last cylinder, I know I didn't show you them all, but we're at 12.6 again. And if oil brings this one up, piston rings would get this back on the road so he can get a truck instead. Go for it, John. Dang it! 100. Oh, no, 110. No, we're still within 10%. No, we are, but we're not. Well, I don't know. Well, another one of them was at 110, and then I added more oil, and it brought it up to 150, 160. Because yeah. I added oil to this one twice, and it brought it up to 150. Mm -hmm. So this one... Is it 110 before I added oil a second time? Right, it's not going to bring it up to perfect. You just brought it up. <laughs> right. <coughs> you're, te you're allowed 10% drop. Yeah. We were generally hitting 120. When I over oiled versus under oiled, I hit over 150. So, and we're already at 12.5 again, so I, we had enough energy. So, elect it, unfortunately, electricity was too high. With electricity that high, it shouldn't have been that low of a result. Okay, so minimum compression is 135, and warm, it should be 178 PSI. So yeah, we are, even with oil, a little down, but as long as they're within 10% of each other, this engine was pretty much a good running engine before this happened. I mean, not perfect, but good enough to sell to someone who might want to just let go of something and have some a beat around car to last for a while. Get made fun of again. But hey, even an electrician owns one. <laughs> twelve six, twelve seven. That confirms we were at a different decent uh, power level. We even did a, a Shorter's boxes voltage drop test. We leave the headlights for a while on for a while, make sure it wasn't a bad cell. Because there was a bad cell that was dropping out under load. That would throw off the compression test. And I did glance over at the voltage a couple times while we were cranking. And it was still only down to 11.7. So that's well within spec. A little weak, but well within spec. So looking real quick. This, I'm wondering if these pistons can be dropped. I'm looking at the oil pan. See if we can do this from underneath. And I'm imagining if we can push the crankshaft around into positions, get out of the way of the hone. We could re-hone from below. Yeah, because it's just a, it's a, a bell housing that slides over the oil pan. I mean, we should look up the job before we do it to know what we're getting into, because John doesn't want to do too much. But it's basically get the exhaust out of the way.
two bolts extremely rusted three bolts probably have to cut them and replace them um, he's got a little exhaust leak there on his flex pipe I see that on every Honda of, the, of this vintage every single one it's just a matter of cause and technically there should be two bolts Let me turn around on the catalytic converter to do that too to drop this section out I know this is a really odd thing to be smiling about <laughs> but it's ironic this is the week of the engine five confirmed engines dead by me this week I'll leave it to your imagination as to whether my engines in that nut counting or not <laughs> work on something hey sometimes it's good to help you with your buddy's car because maybe his car is better or is it Wink, wink, nod, nod.